Hello again and welcome to our Money Mentor channel where today we're going to look at the uh, share price forecast of Associated British Foods. So Associated British Foods are effectively um, unsurprisingly in the food industry supplying ingredients, sugar and various other products to all sorts of uh, businesses throughout the uh, country and throughout uh, the wider market as well. Um, you can see Stockopedia have got a stock rank of 75 so it's increased slightly uh, but nothing um, nothing screaming a buy at the moment although it does say the quality at 88 is, uh, is a good quality business so I'll take a look at that later. So looking at the uh, one year graph here we can see well actually it's had a pretty poor um, second half of the year gone from 2445 uh, down to below or just it has hit just below 2000 and 1900s but looks like it's just ticked up a little bit there so it's just over the 2000 at the moment so pretty much a strong trending downward stock if we look at the full three year including the covid crash we can see oddly enough just before the covid crash happened it had a pretty strong uptick um, and then plummeted down with uh, everything everything else in the market before a very very bumpy ride which didn't actually even get back to where we are so overall it was at about 2500 2600 um, and it's still a long way back from there so it's it's not recovered from the covid position um, we can have a quick look at the 52 week high so we're 20 percent below the 52 week high at the moment you can see it's got a dividend yield of about two and a half percent so fairly average for both the market and the industry and both the on the quality basis return on capital and return on equity are showing uh, an amber an amber figure of six and five percent respectively operating margin of just under six percent um unsurprising in the uh, in the kind of food cyclical businesses health trend is quite positive at seven um, on the f score basis and if we take a look at the revenue chart here we can see there was a knock in 2020 uh, and 2021 or there will be full year 2021 although they expect things to pick up uh, back in 22 and 23. operating profit well that doesn't look so good uh, a downward downward trend from 17 18 and 19 and into 20 and 21 looks like they're going to um, try and maintain somewhere in a similar area or slightly above um, the 2020 figure so it's actually been hit by the uh, COVID crisis quite badly at the moment so if we look at the dividends we know it's relatively low so 21 dividend is projecting 1.3 percent with 2.2 cover and going forward they're projecting slightly higher um, dividends um, and actually slightly higher dividend covers so they do have the ability and the cash to pay these dividends and then uh, use the rest of the cash to bolster the books or reinvest in mergers and acquisitions if that's what they choose to do um, the debt has actually decreased from 2020 so they they'd had two two billion debt in 2020 which have now reduced to 1.38 billion so they have used some of that spare cash to pay down their debt shares are bang on exactly the same so there's no dilution going on with the shares which is always good to see and actually abs has 21 brokers covering it so pretty broad spread and they are a consensus a consensus of um, you know a, a solid buy uh, not quite the strong buy yet but a solid buy and they think that a price target of pretty much back to where it was um, before covid 2400 so two and a half two and a half thousand pence um, 20 percent above the book value is ultimately where this share could end up at some point in the future um, I don't hold the share um, I've not even on my watch list so I've got no intention of, um, of looking at it any further but what about you guys do you hold the share um, are you a long-term shareholder or is it something you've stayed away from and looks like you continue to stay away from with its current current trend and price do let us know in the comments uh, box below as always we try to respond as and when we can um, and if you're not a subscriber of our channel then please do subscribe uh, and hit the bell so that you can get uh, further share price forecast videos uh, as and when we release them thank you